They say the two most certain things in life are death and taxes. With death being inevitable, one would think burial space will be in abundance. But there's a major crisis with space running out. Could buying land for a cemetery or memorial park be the new kind of investment? Some individuals and companies seem to think so. A couple of years ago, uh, we started with one cemetery. We had to research it. It had never been, we never found one that was auctioned off before, so we did a, did a lot of research on it, found out it could be done, and we did it. Since then, we've auctioned off uh, three. Uh, and we found out it, it, is, it is big business with the, with the dynamics of our population and with all the cultures we have. A lot of people uh, insist uh, on getting buried. Uh, there's also a lot that, that really don't mind whether they get scattered or buried, but with the South African cultures, um, there are millions and millions of people that uh, insist on a tribal or a cultural burial in the ground. And with the municipalities at a 99.99% capacity, uh, they have run out of space. And that's why a lot of the cemeteries have now gone private. There are a few listed funds that we found out that also own enormous uh, private cemeteries in and around Johannesburg and soon to be Natal. And uh, they, are, they are buying up a lot of land. It, it's, it's big business. Property group Colgro M3 used to solely focus on low income housing. Now it's moving into developing memorial parks. There's a lot of funeral directors done over the past to increase the service and dignify service in the funeral space, but no one has really touched the land part of it and to develop real dignified memorial parks and land space. But this doesn't come cheap. The challenge with land, of course, is very, very expensive. Uh, by now in this park, which you see behind you, you've got 150 million rand invested um, with no bank finance because it's not typically something the bank will finance. So you need investors with long-term vision and deep pockets. While municipalities continue to struggle with land space, investors are digging deep to cash in. Heidi Jokos, Johannesburg.